Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the part 2 of our previous video, Solving Quadratic Equations by Extracting the Roots. If hindi nyo pa napapanood yung first part nito, you can see it here or sa ating description box. So without further ado, let's do this topic. In number 5, as our continuation, we have here x plus 5 raised to the second power plus 9. So, if this is the case of your given quadratic equations, medyo madali lang to. Like this one. x plus 5 raised to the second power is equal to 9. Copy ko lang siya. First, kapag ganito na yung format natin, you can get the square root of this kasi perfect square naman na to. As well as this part of the equation. Positive negative square root of 10. Cancel this out. Cancel. You have your x plus 5 is equal to positive negative the square root of 9 is 3 what's next to solve for x transpose this to the other side of the equation you have your x is equal to positive negative 3 minus 5 as you can see we have your positive negative ito yung gagawin natin hanapin natin x, x sub 1 and x sub 2 your x sub 1 is using the positive 3 or 3 minus 5 well for the x sub 2 remember this case eh? after using the positive you will use the negative negative 3 copy minus 5 let's simplify your x sub 2 is equal to oh sorry x sub 1 is equal to 3 minus 5 which is negative 2 and this is the first solution of the quadratic equation Next, x sub 2, negative 3 minus negative 5, that is negative 8. Now, what are the solutions? The solutions are negative 2 and negative 8. Okay? So, let's proceed with item number 6. For number 6, what's the first thing you need to do here if this is the given equation? 2 times x minus 2 squared minus 5 is equal to 0. First thing you need to do is to eliminate this. You can transpose. You have 2 times x minus 2 squared. Then from negative, it will become positive 5. Ang target kasi natin, makapagproduce tayo ng ganito. So as you can see, hindi pa siya final dahil we still have the 2 here. So what we need is to divide both sides of the equation by 2. Cancel, cancel. You have now x minus 2 raised to the second power is equal to 5 over 2. As you can see, parehas sila. We can extract the square root of this. Siyempre, ito din. Get the square root of positive, negative, and this one. Cancel, cancel. You have your x minus 2 is equal to positive negative 5 over 2 at yung square root ito pero dito kasi ito ah, simplified to ah hindi kasi perfect square si 5 hindi rin perfect square si 2 pero we can still simplify this by rationalization rationalize natin rationalize yung pinaka purpose ng rationalization natin is to remove the denominator or the radical and the denominator. Itong square root of 5 over 2 natin, pwede siyang gawing square root of 5 over the square root of 2. And to rationalize that, go ahead and separate solution. Multiply lang natin to by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. Kung ano yun sa ilalim. So what will happen, this is square root of 5 over the square root of 2, that is square root of 10 over the square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4. Ito, you have your square root of 10 over... Alam naman natin that 4 is a perfect square, meaning the square root of 4 is 2. Ito, you replace natin dito. It will become x minus 2 is equal to positive negative square root of 10 over 2. Ayan. Ngayon natin, gagawin natin, transpose natin si negative 2 on the other side to become x is equal to 
positive negative square root of 10 over 2 and then plus 2. Pwede na itong sagot. Yung x sub 1 nyo is square root of 10 over 2 plus 2. x sub 2 is negative square root of 10 over 2 plus 2. Pero pwede siyang gawing single term lang. Try natin dito. I hope na magkasya. Remove ko ito ng, uh, move ito ng konti. So that, so that we can have enough space for this. Okay. So pag sinimplify nyo ito, your x sub 1 Ito natin gawin. x sub 1 is equal to square root of 10 over 2. Positive muna ginamit ko. Ha? Positive. And then plus 2. Simplify nyo, it will become ganyan yung 2. Yan. LCD muna. 2 divided by 2 is 1 times the square root of 10 that is square root of 10. Plus, ito meron siyang divisible 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2 times 2, that is 4. Ito ngayon yung inyong x sub 1. Okay? So, sir, what about the x sub 2? Again, let us use different marker dito. Dito, ito yung solution. Here, this is the solution. Dito, ito yung first value ng x sub 1. Now, for the x sub 2, sana kumuha siya. Gamit mo naman negative, negative square root of 10 plus 2 over 2. Ganun pa din. X sub 2, pag isahin mo lang to over 2, this negative square root of 10 plus 2. And this is the second solution, guys. I hope sa mga nanonood, uh, you can comment down if nababasa niya pa yung sagot natin. Okay? So, I hope guys you learned something from this video and... Sana mayroong taga kayo natutunan about this. And let me give you an example or an assignment for number 7. Try this. Try to calculate x minus 3 squared is equal to 6. Okay. Comment down below what is the value of x. So I hope guys you learned something from this video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but ihit na rin ang ating bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Marami, marami salamat. Bye-bye. By the way, guys, you can follow me sa akin social media accounts. I have my Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. At ang pangalan ko ay Matt Teacher Gon and ako si Teacher Gon. Bye-bye, guys.